My name is Rebecca Dolan, I'm the Education Development Manager here at Imaginosity. We're here at Imaginosity today, we're a Discover Primary Science and Math Centre. Today we're going to learn about everyday chemistry, so we're using materials that children can find at home in their kitchen to do science experiments with. We're the only children's museum in Ireland. We're very much focused on learning through play. It's called discovery-led learning. The age groups we're aimed at are really from babies right up to about nine years of age. So we deal with the junior cycle really of the primary school curriculum. Everything in the museum is designed to be used, played, experimented with. It's very much hands-on learning. My favorite thing is I like them building. We have a construction zone where you can don a hard hat and really build walls, knock them down, use our crane. There's a crane and you're able to put some pretend blocks on and like uh, put the blocks on the walls. And finally, we got it up in. Yeah, pushed it down. It was just for fun. Our first floor is based around a small town centre. It's called Play Your Story. So all the exhibits are instantly recognisable to children. We have a diner, a post office, a butcher's, a supermarket. You can pretend to shop and you can drive a car. He drives the car, didn't he? Yeah. I, was, I, kept I, was about to, I was about to hop in the car, wasn't it? Yeah. The second floor is called Create Your Story. So here children can come up and use our theatre, put on a puppet play, dress up in character. We also have a newscaster's desk where children can read the news and we have a math house where you can use um, all your logic you can muster to solve some of our puzzles. I like playing with Dylan because we were trying all the big seats. I tried to sit in the little one but I wouldn't fit. I was like... The big chair was so high that me and Beatrice couldn't even get down. <laughs> the idea behind Imaginosity is to use imagination and role play and really engage the children in what they're doing. All the exhibits are based on the primary school curriculum. Although it mightn't be apparent when you're first doing it, you really are learning as you play. During this workshop, I'm going to show you that you don't need a white coat to be a scientist. All you have to do is ask lots and lots of questions. The workshop very much focuses on the primary science skills. So we talk them through the scientific method. So during this workshop today, I'm going to get you to ask lots of questions, we're going to make predictions, we're going to measure, we're going to experiment or investigate. Number five, really important, we're going to observe all the experiments and then when we go in to do our own workshop, to become our own junior scientist, we're going to record everything we do. We started off with uh, the experiments. When the soap was getting rising bigger in the microwave, the first experiment we do is a soap sculpture. So we ask them what they think will happen when we put soap into a microwave. Will it go up in smoke? Will it explode? Really what happens is when you put soap into a microwave, it grows. A lot of children think it will just melt, so it's quite a fun experiment to do with them. She put three raisins in the normal water and three raisins in the seven bubbly water. And the seven bubbly water has and the raisins go up and down and uh, no the water just they didn't float. Our last experiment is quite fun. We call it elephant toothpaste. So we're tr trying to create a foamy substance. We use hydrogen peroxide and we use yeast and we combine the two and produce a chemical reaction and you get really good reactions from the children observing it. <laughs> Once we finish with these demonstrations, we allow the children to go in and do hands-on workshop. This part is called Amazing Glue. So we're trying to create something that is, the technical term is a non-Newtonian fluid. We don't generally use this in the workshop because we're dealing with quite young children. But really, it's a substance that can be both a liquid and a solid. When you mix it around, it turns to like liquid. If you, um curl it up like a ball and you stop it will melt. It's quite fun because the children get to decide how they make it in terms of how much water they put into the substance so every team gets a different substance. It was uh, it and then I rolled it. It was all like a rock. No. Ah, it's all in my hand. 
If you're interested in booking a workshop, please visit our website www.imaginosity.ie.